Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Here's some clips I put together from my live fish this weekend at my local Craigler Springs. In this session I came about 9am in the morning, um, but it was quite cold, it didn't go above 6 degrees all day and there was a northerly wind. So it was challenging, however, in these clips I just wanted to demonstrate how changing line densities and Techniques to keep me busy enough on the fish throughout the morning into the afternoon. Here I'm starting on the floating line with about an 18 foot leader with two buzzers, just straight lining them. There guys, third cast in, I got two red buzzers on, last time I came I had some this one, and already in the depth. There's a and this is it. If you can see that there. Just get the snips on this. And off it goes. So if you follow my uh, Instagram page guys, you'll see that last Friday I came here, same times, it was a bit windier and a little bit warmer, and I had five fish 
in about half an hour on that red epoxy point fly that just had that fish on. So I've come back today. It's not as much wind and it's northerly and it's a lot colder. Um, I've seen a couple of fish rise, so I thought I'll start on the buzzer again. Try and catch that hatch before it dies off around midday. And third cast in then, I've had a fish on a slow figure of eight. So we're going to stick with this for the next half an hour, 50, 20 minutes. I'll keep that point fly because I know that colour is working at the minute. But on the dropper I have another red buzzer. Try and maximise my chances that they're under that colour. But if it does go quiet, I'm going to change my dropper to a black. And mix and match it. Keep putting new things out there. It's one of the worst traps you can fall into. It's just staying with the same method and fly. And time's against you on fisheries. And time does fly, so you want to try and change it up as much as you can. And try and find exactly what the fish want. To really make the most out of your day. So I've got about 18 foot leader on. And I've got my point buzzer right at the bottom and then about six foot above that, maybe a bit less, I've got that other red buzzer. So I'm going to let them sink to my loop and see if I only get any static takes like that. I'm going to watch my line. And if I don't, after about 30 seconds to a minute, I'll then start my slow figure of eight. And that will then bring the buzzers up to layers and hopefully in the, uh, the fish's layer. So by doing this, you're covering two um, strike points. You're covering the deeper water, about 15 foot down. And then as I retrieve them flies, they'll climb all the way through all them layers to pretty much subsurface by the time the line gets to me. So it's quite a good way of um, finding the trout, so to speak. So after about half an hour fishing the buzzers, I did change that dropper to a little black one, uh, but nothing after that first fish, surprisingly. So I thought, right, change of tactic, went on the sinking line, a die three with a Moesic black zonker. Third cast on that black conker, guys. I've changed tactics, it's still a bit too cold. So, what I've done is I've gone on my sinker. And <clears throat> first cast of this, it was taking a while to sink and the fish rose on it, but I missed that one. But this is third or fourth cast in, just figure of eating. And net this one and get back in there. It's a black conker. 
with a lowly ass body. So I watched a video of um, trout fly fish in the UK, I can't remember his name, a Scottish guy. And he did really well. This I tied one up. And here we go. That's just really cool about the community that people share their knowledge and patterns and can work for everyone else as well. There he goes. You see that black sunk in the net? Just put him back. Oh, off he goes. That's pretty good for now, guys. But there we have it. Lovely rainbow black sunk there. So again, after catching that fish and that zonker, um I missed two knocks, I think, if I could recall it. Uh, nothing then, so I then changed to the mackerel zonker. Again, mixing it up, changing the colours, trying to keep the fish interested. And on this cast, again, changing up the retrieve, especially when fishing lures. Um, this fish I dropped, but it's really interesting. I figured it, figure it the whole way in. Just as I'm about to come to the bank, I started stripping it. And of what I thought was the bottom on this time, it was actually a fish hitting my lure three times, as you can see. I'll point the rod out when it's going. And then it did hook on on the third attempt. Um, but because I didn't lift into the fish properly, it didn't hook well and he got off. But again, um, changing up that retrieve can incite the trout to take the fly, which is really important. Uh, sorry about the clanging noise in this video guys, um, I had my um, forceps slapping off my phone the whole time, I didn't realise till I got home. Just lost one there guys on the mackerel zonker, that was annoying, I had two pulls on that, but I was, wasn't was sure whether it was the bottom, so I got heavy tungsten on this, uh, sorry a large brass bead, but it's still heavy. <coughs> So naturally using a single line close to the shore, you sometimes catch the bottom. And that's what I thought happened. I thought I'd pulled it through some reeds and it happened again. And then the last time the fish hooked and I didn't get a good enough hook up. So I just pulled them. Um, I didn't strike into that fish. I went down to a sink to find this time, this fish a washing line. And he's hit the orange blob on the point. I haven't got any fabs in the box, so I had to use a blob. It seems like it's done the trick anyway. Red bears on the drop. Again for the orange blob. So that's still high in the water. Back in. Back 
again guys I've gone back to that sinking line putting the blue flash dams up and the second cast are in on a steady figure of 8 Well, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video as I enjoyed the session and trying to find the fish of all the different depths. Um, and this video proves that things can change throughout the course of four hours. I had one just under the surface, deep down on die three and the sink tip line. So it's just about mixing it up, finding the fish and choosing the right patterns. But mainly uh, the depth of the fish is where you want to find them. So cheers guys. I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.